Entertainers, entertainers, my squishy little oodalallies. It's been a bit, hasn't it? And for that, I am the sorriest. But I'm flying high on some post-surgery painkillers right now, and I thought I'd give you an update. Some of you saw this picture on my community post or on Instagram and had a small heart attack. Oh god, she's dying! She's already dead! She posted this from the afterlife! Nah, you can't get rid of me that easily. But this surgery was definitely overdue. See, what happened was, sometime during the last few years, I did something that moved my innards around. Still don't know what I did, but knowing me, it was probably something stupid, like I rolled out of bed wrong. But unbeknownst to me, I had given myself a hiatal hernia. What's a hiatal hernia, you may be asking? Well, we all have a diaphragm. <clears throat> diaphragm. That stretchy piece of skin below your lungs that helps with breathing. Now diaphragms have a hole in them where the esophagus goes through. That's the food tube. And a hiatal hernia is when the top part of your stomach gets pushed through that hole in the diaphragm. Yeah, not good. And it causes a boatload of medical problems. For me, it started with chronic heartburn a couple years ago and I became dependent upon acid reducers, which is not good. You're not supposed to take those every day, let alone every day for years. But over the last few months, things escalated rather quickly. Food wasn't pushing through to my stomach very well and I couldn't get a full night's sleep because every night stomach acid was coming up my esophagus and into my lungs. My body was literally trying to drown me. So my doctor stuck a camera down my throat and said, hmm, this don't look right. You should have come to me sooner, you dingus. So it was becoming increasingly obvious. I could deny it no longer. I needed surgery. Now I have six new holes in my abdomen and incredible pain in my neck, shoulders, and back. I didn't know this, but during laparoscopic abdominal surgery, they gotta fill your abdomen full of gas so the surgeon can see what they're doing. And that gas puts a lot of pressure on your abdomen, causing incredible pain to travel up to your shoulders and neck. So when I woke up from surgery, I was instantly hit with like a nine on the pain scale. I was trying to be a big brave boy, but it hurt so bad I actually started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I got a boo-boo. And I've been struggling with that pain ever since I got home. The painkillers barely touch it and I was told I'd have to just let it ride out. Fun! So yeah, that has been my last couple of days. Nothing but soft foods for a while and I got a plie like a ballerina to sit down or pick up stuff. I'm actually standing at my standing desk to do all this drawing right now because I'm not allowed to hunker over. Learn from my failure, oodalallies. Don't ignore these medical problems or put them off till later. I could have saved myself years worth of pain if I had just been more proactive. Anyways, new longer video is still on its way. Here's a clip. What's with the stage? Well, I guess I'm just trying to relive some fond memories from high school theater. And I'll be at VidCon Baltimore September 28th through October 1st. Thank you so much for your patience and support explainers. I'll see you soon. Bye.